Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sossman, joined today by Megan Nunez of FanDuel, who's here to give you her best bets for week number seven. What's going on, Megan? Not a whole lot, just trying to find some winners. You've been really good thus far, so let's keep it rolling and let's begin in Houston, when the Green Bay Packers are taking on the Houston Texans. Packers coming off a devastating loss to Tampa Brady. And, well, the Houston Texans are coming off just as devastating of a loss to Mike Vrabel and the Tennessee Titans. The Packers are in Houston and are three-and-a-half-point favorites, and you're riding with Aaron Rodgers. How come you like the road favorites here in this one? All right, so I would say that most teams, uh, you know, need the bye week. But with that Packers team, they were so hot and they were clicking. I really think that bye week just threw an entire wrench into last week. And again, they went down to Tampa Bay and just got absolutely waxed by Tom Brady. I think this is a road to redemption down in Houston. Again, as you said, Houston coming off an absolutely devastating loss in overtime. I don't think Aaron Rodgers loses again. Um, I think that he's going to go down there. He's going to show uh, why he is an elite quarterback. Uh, this Houston Texans team, I just don't think they're built for elite teams. Um, so, yeah, I'm taking Aaron Rodgers in a kind of get-right spot here after being embarrassed by Tom Brady um, and taking them with the three-and-a-half at Houston. Texans played well in that division matchup against Tennessee, and they should have won. But they couldn't get that one last fourth down, and that gave Tennessee the only shot that they needed. Derrick Henry took it to them. I expect Aaron Jones will as well. Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, both healthy. Packers in a good spot, laying three and a half in Houston. Speaking about laying three and a half as a road team, let's get to the Seattle Seahawks, who are laying three and a half in Arizona, a divisional matchup here. Arizona is coming off a absolute thrashing of the Dallas Cowboys on Monday night, but it's a short week here for Arizona. They are home. They're taking on the Seahawks coming off a bye. You talked about teams that didn't necessarily need a bye. That was the Seahawks as well, who are arguably the best team in the NFL. So, yeah, as you said, everyone just watched uh, Kyler Murray and that offense absolutely wax the Cowboys last week, but we're not the only ones who watched it. The bookmakers saw it too, and I think there is a little bit of recency bias cooked into this number. The Seahawks were 5-0 and going into that bye week, but as I did mention, bye weeks aren't, aren't always the greatest thing, but for this particular team, I think it's the best thing because they needed that extra week to prepare for that high-powered offense. I feel like you and I have talked a lot about letting Russ cook, and almost every time that we've talked, he's covered. So I'm taking Mr. Unlimited. I'm letting Russ cook again. I'm taking Russell Wilson, laying the three and a half uh, on the road uh, against this Arizona team. Arizona's good, but I don't think they're nearly as good as they showed on Monday night. They, they're face, they faced a historically terrible Dallas defense, and riding that wave for the Arizona Cardinals against Seattle, it's dangerous. I think the Seahawks bring Arizona back down to earth here on Sunday, and they cover those three and a half points. So last week, you chose the Los Angeles Rams on Sunday night football against San Francisco, and the Rams were riding, destroying the NFC East. They went 4-0 against the NFC East. They now face their division rivals, the Niners, and it didn't go nearly as well. Oh, so yeah. this week, the Rams are on Monday night football, and they're at home, and they're facing off against the Chicago Bears. The Bears, to my knowledge, do not play in the NFC East, and you're going with them this time, going against the Rams. Rams are five-and-a-half-point favorites here. It seems like a big number, while the Chicago Bears have a good record, and at five-and-a-half-point dogs against the Rams team that's probably a little overrated last week, seems like a good spot for Chicago. Um, I agree. I think this Chicago team is the strangest 5-1 and team I've ever seen. I don't think that they believe that they're 5-1. and one. And regardless of how bad they've looked with those wins, they're still 4-2 and two against the spread. Uh, as you said, I took the Rams last week. I think almost everyone did uh, besides the real sharp guys. And we all got absolutely burned. Um, but I can't shy away from the fact that all four of these Rams wins, as you said, were against NFC East opponents. And while this Rams team is, I think, still good, are the opponents that good? Because now even that loss to the Bills is starting to look a little suspect. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the points here. I did think the line was going to open around two and a half or three as soon as I saw five and a half. 
I jumped on the Bears. I think we're going to get that BDN energy on a Monday night. I like the Bears to cover the five and a half, plus five and a half, of course. At five and one, the Bears are five and a half point underdogs here against the Rams. I get it. The Rams may, the Bears may not be as good as that five and one record indicates, but five and a half points against a Rams team that can only beat the NFC East, it just seems like a lot for me. Chicago, plus five and a half on Monday Night Football. You have to ride that BDN energy. There you have it. Those are the best bets for week number seven. Megan, we appreciate your time. Good luck this week. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all as always, and good luck to everyone as well. All right. Tomorrow on the program, Tom Vecchio will join me and he'll give us the value picks to go along with his studs from yesterday as we round out our DFS rosters. For Megan Nunez, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.